Hello world, it's Angelot, and I want to show you how to put dots on a Mapbox GL map. So if you're not familiar, Mapbox GL is a new library, a relatively new library from Mapbox that uses WebGL that, um, to render web maps, and it's got this buttery smooth zooming, uh, this crazy rotating if you hold control and drag. Um, and it, it uses vector tiles behind the scenes, which has all kinds of benefits um, that we'll go over probably in another video. But for now, I just want to show you how to take this simple map, which is very little code, and put some dots on it with D3JS so that you can render custom graphics on top. Just like the last video where I did a setup of a Mapbox.js, which is really just leaflet um, with some Mapbox tiles behind it, um, the point of this is to get you started drawing with D3 on top of a map and then from there you know you can do all kinds of cool custom stuff and, and I'll do that in, in some future videos um, where we can look at that. So let me go into side by side mode and zoom in a little bit so hopefully you can see the code a little better. Um, and let's just go through this line by line. In a lot of videos I um, live code but this is very short, um, very little amount of code. I think we can just get through it real fast if we um, look at it. Maybe we'll play with a couple parameters to see what happens. But there, the first thing you'll notice that's different than other things is this viewport uh, line. I'm actually not 100% sure how important that is, but I think it helps with the WebGL canvas. I got it from, from here. Let's zoom in on this too. Maybe somebody can enlighten myself and others. We're loading D3. We're loading uh, the Mapbox GL script, loading the style sheet that accompanies it. And, oh, don't need that anymore. Sorry. Save that. And we have our typical block setup where we're making our body take up the whole screen with position fixed. We have a map container which we'll use to um, that's where we'll put the map that Mapbox GL will build. We'll position it absolute, make it take up the whole width and height of the screen. Um, we'll also style an SVG element which we'll be adding to that map uh, the same way. So again we're setting up an access token. This is just a, a temporary access token I set up so I could demo these. Uh, you should probably just set up your own at mapbox.com pretty easy and here we're actually setting up the map so we tell it the container so this is the ID of the div map right here we give it a style this is a style that I put together on mapbox.com studio which is just a really easy interactive point and click I turned off a bunch of the text I changed some of the colors just a little bit just to see what it was like uh, I recommend you play around with it as well um, and then we have the center of the map, which is longitude and latitude, which you might notice is opposite of the Mapbox.js or leaflet way of, of doing things. So there's actually um, several different web mapping tools will do uh, switch them back and forth. So you just got to know this one, um, Mapbox.gl has longitude first, then latitude and our zoom level is uh, set here, our initial zoom. The cool thing about this is that we can actually do uh, floating point zooms. So because we can zoom in smoothly, you don't have to be stuck to integers anymore. You can just keep zooming in. And because everything is powered by vectors behind the scenes, that's, that's one of the main benefits actually. Uh, we can do this smoothing, smooth zooming. Again, we're going to set up a container or an SVG element in the container, um, similar to the Mapbox.js or Leaflet style. Uh, but the cool thing about this is we don't need to manage that container at all. It just it, everything moves with the map for you. They handle all the transforms, um, so that's really nice. Uh, but we do want to make a convenience function for projection. The map has a project function which takes in a lat long object. And so I just made two functions here this get ll 
takes in our our data point which looks like this d.lon d.lat which if you'll remember comes from the csv file um, so they're parsed out into um, strings in the object i don't know if you remember that from the last tutorial i can show you here if we just say console.log data zero then we'll do get ll data zero and so here we see the object is lat is the string and lon and then this is actually a long lat um, object from mapbox gl which is now numbers and then if we call project get ll data zero so just projecting the first element um, did I do that wrong? Project get out. Oh, right. I don't need to pass in get ll because that's the point of the convenience function here where I'm calling get ll on the, the object. So now we have an xy coordinate when we project our latitude longitude there. So I'm just going to comment that out. I'm actually going to save this that with this code there so you can play with it. Oh, what? That's weird. I've seen that happen a couple times now. Um, I think re-rendering re all this WebGL stuff is probably, with the console open, I've noticed uh, every now and then it, it just breaks. But, you know, that's what we get for living on the bleeding edge, right? Anyway, so... Yeah, like the previous one, we're selecting all the, the dots, the circles for our data. We, we're just selecting on the SVG, the container we made before, and then we're entering an appending. Uh, we transition them in just for the heck of it. Uh, you'll notice that it takes a second for the tiles to load, so the dots transitioning in, you know, it's kind of nice. Um, and then we have our render function which will reproject, and I had I was debugging this as I was figuring out. I'll get any of those, um, so you can play with it. But uh, our render function will be called whenever the map moves or the zoom is reset. So that way, as we zoom, our circles get properly reprojected. Um, but unlike the other Mapbox.js, you can see that we can always see the circles. They're always zooming smoothly. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, that's really it. Um, in some future videos, I'll, you know, we'll make some more uh, sophisticated graphics and, and play with that. I'm tempted to just do more things on top of the Mapbox GL because it's so nice um, to use. Oh yeah, and let's you rotate the map around, the dots move with it. Forget about that. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see any particular um, use cases or, or techniques. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Later.